we don't want to be overrun by people, you know, you know, with people coming for selfies. Like we are a Christmas tree farm, right? It was just, yeah, it was craziness. It was craziness last year. Christmas tree farms outside the GTA have kicked into high gear. They're always a popular attraction, but since the pandemic, interest from local families has spiked and the farmers are racing to keep up. It was overwhelming for me and all my staff. Todd Hepburn owns Hepburn's Christmas trees. He says last year business was so good, it may have actually been a little too good. With all that business last year, I'm going to be short on trees. Uh, so my stock is going to be, it's a little low right now. I can't get pre-cuts this year. At the same time, we recently heard from farms with fall attractions that they were noticing a sharp increase in visitors coming just for selfies. It's a trend that might be on the move. Are you starting to notice some of that selfie uh, interest on the farm these past few years. Yeah, definitely. Derek Elliott is a tree farmer at Elliott Tree Farm. It's a long time family operation that got into growing trees about 15 years ago. He says he'll see some groups having snowball fights while taking selfies or with large farm equipment. He's especially noticed more professional photographers bringing clients to tree farms. You know, as we, um, you know, serve our guests every year, uh, we continue to look at uh, what makes sense for, for them and the farm. Now it seems like this trend is still hit and miss. Todd says while he was busy, he didn't see a lot of selfies. But I did speak to one farm that declined to participate in the story, telling me they already had more interest than they could handle and didn't want to draw any more attention to the property. Uh, well, where do you fall on that kind of spectrum? Well, you know, again, it's, um, uh, you know, we're in a business where we're open five weeks out of the year. Uh, if people are coming just for selfies or to take photos, there is an entrance charge. We do waive our, our entrance fee uh, if, if uh, you're coming to purchase a tree. Meanwhile, Shirley Brennan with the Christmas Tree Farmers of Ontario says tree farms tend to have particularly busy days. And the best way to know when is a good time is to talk to the farmer. If we're being flooded with people just coming and taking selfies, then that is going to add to the lineups. And when I say lineups, I mean the traffic lineups to get into the farm and that sort of thing. So that's where the caution is. But let's face it, free advertising, um, having people take and, and have those memories is great for, for our farms. But again, it's what the farmer feels comfortable with. Both Derek and Todd saying they're happy to have guests of all kinds on their farms this holiday season. Yeah, well, fine. In Hillsburg, David Zura, City News.